Hey guys, Andy here. So this morning, Android 13 developer preview uh, dropped, um, otherwise known as uh, Tiramisu internally. And it's available on Pixel devices going back to about, I think the Pixel 4, so I think the cutoff point is the 3A, the 3A doesn't get it, uh, but anything 4 onwards does. But it's, I mean, it's super early in its life cycle at this point. It's the first iteration we get to see. So it really isn't recommended for people to use on their dailies. So I thought I'd check it out for you and show you some of the stuff uh, that's coming your way soon. So installing is actually a fairly simple process if you've used ADB before. Um, I'm not going to go through it in detail. I'll try to put a link in the video description, but if you Google searched XDA installing Android 13, I think you'd probably get the right link. Um, you need to download the relevant OTA file over the air zip file for your device. Um, boot your phone into recovery mode. If you come up with the Android flatten is back with the red symbol above him, hold power down and press volume up to go into the options, select from there, uh, update via ADB, and then you, you do the ADB commands, connected, your phone is connected to your computer, you do your ADB commands. So I'm not gonna go into, if you haven't used ADB, maybe it's not for you to try anyway, and because it is quite a sort of a developer -y type thing to do, because I say, it's not gonna be that stable. The expectation is it's not gonna be that stable. There'll be various things that just won't work. It's definitely with apps, because if they change stuff behind the scenes in Android, and apps aren't set up to deal with those new changes, they just stop working, like banking apps are your classic. Um, but yeah, that's how you would do it, reboot and off you go, which is what I've done here. Um, the next point, I suppose, is, I mean, visually, I don't know that things look that different, really. Um, I have gone to the stock launcher for this. I don't normally use a stock launcher. So things haven't changed much. Things don't change a lot on the new versions of Android these days. That's that's just how software development goes. You have that development arc where it starts off like things change rapidly, rapidly then tail off because you start nearing like that perfect OS, so to speak. There's just less to improve as time goes on. So we're on that point now, I think, with Android where it's just small changes, tweaks here and there. But I'm going to go through some of the things that have changed um, in Android 13 and a couple of bits that will change soon. So one is themed icons. So I think everybody loves Material UI. Well, I say everybody loves, some people hate the new Android stylings, but Material UI where it changes colour. Let's just give you a quick example. Well, actually, you'll see one of the, the new things as well. So the wallpaper changer, hey, look at that. So I go to this wallpaper. Now, in theory, my clock and my weather should change. There we go, you see it change? But what I did notice, these bits aren't changing until, until I reboot. Um, so material, yeah, themes change color based on your wallpaper. Android are allowing basically third parties, if they set their icon up a certain way, I think it's gonna be kind of monochrome, um, that Android will change their, the icon color as well. So instead of you having Android apps uh, and their icons or Google's apps and icons change color with your theme and all the third parties stay the same and look a bit naff. Uh, in theory, they can all change, but the developers have to enable that in their own app and their own app icon. Now, that made me think, well, there's gonna be loads of developers that just don't. But then I thought, well, I wonder if icon packs. So can you download an icon pack that is all compatible with Material U? And as long as that icon pack has replaced the icon for all these different apps that you have, they would then change with Material U. So I thought that could be really good, actually, that could work really well. Um, another change is that you can set a specific language per app. Makes no difference to me, I only really know English, but you could have Facebook in Spanish if you wanted and everything else in English. I'm not quite sure why you'd want that, but that's, that's a feature. There's a new photo picker which it sounds like it basically you can ring fence apps access to only certain photos. So I guess you could have a folder with avatar photos in, so when you set up an account or something, you can, it can only access those, and it just means that it doesn't have, the apps won't necessarily have full run at all your photos, uh, kind of a privacy thing. Nearby devices, it sounds interesting. 
in that um, it means that your phone can detect other nearby devices without asking for location permissions. And that worries me a little bit. Sounds quite handy in sort of like, I don't know, sending files to people um, in the room with you or something. But at the same time, I mean, I don't mind tipping, tapping, yeah, allow access, right, send this file. What worries me is I'm walking down the high street and I walk past Sainsbury's and my phone says, oh, go in Sainsbury's and buy these products. No, I don't want to, because it can detect something in the shop. I don't know. I just I just think, oh, you're going on about privacy and then you're removing the need for it to ask for location to be able to detect certain things and maybe act on certain things. Um, quick tap for flashlight. flashlight. So quick tap, let's just search it. I did uh, quick. Use quick tap. So you get a load of different options. They've just added toggle flashlight, which actually works really well, he says. I mean, I'm tapping fairly lightly there, to be honest. What I did think though, I mean, how often do you see someone walking around and their flashlight's on? That's gonna be even more common if you use this, surely, because if you just, I don't know, I'm, yeah. Um, but I mean, I really like it because I think it's, a, it's one of them uses that I use my torch quite a lot. I normally have it in my drop down menu. There it is. Um, so the whole quick tap at the back could be pretty handy. Um, there's various other 12L changes. If you weren't aware, there's Android 12, there's Android 13, but in the middle is Android 12L. We think the L stands for basically larger devices. So there's, there's a few changes they've made there, like this wallpaper picker. So that photo there, that was actually one of the last photos I used. I can just tap on that to switch to it. There we go, or I can tap to. So I think basically it's all your most recently used wallpapers, um, which just seems quite a nice way of of switching about wallpapers. Um, various other little bits like there's a there's a better compatibility for use of the yes, yeah, so I did that. There's some minor UI multi-screen UI tweaks coming through, and I'm not even sure how to get to mod screen to be honest. So I'm not entirely sure what that is. Um, expected soon, so coming soon, apps can ask to add quick tiles. So we talk about these bits at the top there. So an app will just be able to say, oh, I'd like to add a toggle for you for this. I think that sounds quite good. You still got to, you still get to say yes or no. So it's not forcing anything on you, but I just think it's probably, I think the quick toggles are quite handy things to have. Um, that's that's it really. I think there's um, there's quite a lot of other things kind of behind the scenes going on in Android. That's, that's quite a common thing these days that you just won't, you wouldn't know this happened, um, but changes are happening behind the scenes. Um, the timeline for Android 13 means you're probably not gonna see it till sort of August or September. I think by about May is when, if you really wanted to try it, it's probably gonna be reliable enough that you could give it a go. Um, but there we go, so it's not nothing massive. You know, I'm not itching to, that's, this is on my Pixel 5, I don't know if I said. I'm not itching to put it on my Pixel 6. There's not really anything particularly groundbreaking in there. Um, apart from maybe the double tap on the back, but I can wait for that. So yeah, I don't know, let me know your thoughts. I'm sure a lot of people are gonna go, yeah, whatever. <laughs> but yeah, let me know what you think. Uh, I do read all the comments, but for now, my name's Andy and I'll catch you all again soon.